the truth about the shift. It's no secret that more and more men are choosing to go their own way and live a solitary life. But what is the real reason behind this? Hello everyone and welcome to One Male. In this video, I will share with you the truth about why men are leaving and going their own way. So sit back and relax because I have a lot to share with you in this video. Make sure to like this and subscribe to my channel for more. Anyways, I want to discuss why guys are opting out and going Megtow because there's no denying that men are opting out of jobs and educational partnerships, hurting men. Perhaps not for women or society as a whole. That's what I'd want to discuss right now. Men opt out, it isn't just a few isolated cases. I consume a lot of media and reflect on it. It is not simple. Men who are unhappy or dissatisfied with their current circumstances will fail. This issue does not appear to be true in Western society. Men are not looking for female partners. Men do not build families. Because men have yet to develop professions, women have stepped into these positions. They aren't ready for them. Supporting women in these productive jobs is more expensive than profitable, harming society and civilization. Things can't go on like this for much longer. But first, let's go through the details. The bulk of these workers was employed in the manufacturing sector. Some may have heard that manufacturing employment is obsolete and that a high-paying office job is far more necessary. That's not entirely correct because it's not just the productive work of the manufacturing class and the things produced. They help actual families who help the people who make up your legitimate tax base. The office job, on the other hand, is much more personalized. I know one person, and here's the thing, men aren't particularly good in office jobs. I'm sorry, but unless you're prepared to act like a full beta blue pill simping, you won't be able to keep your office job and do that. You'll have to fight your intrinsic masculinity, and if you don't believe it, it'll go to that point, if you don't believe it, it'll go that far. If you don't think it can get that terrible. So, women do well at work. And all she has to do is raise a minor concern with one of the other males, such as this man's demeanor or how he makes her feel, and women are sexually powerful at the office. That's how much we cater to women's wants, needs, and feelings as a culture, especially in an office setting where output is primarily secondary. It's a distinguishing feature. Males do not solely create work. You wouldn't be able to accomplish it if women couldn't do it as well as males. So, the men are physically forced out of their hunting territory, which is a strange way of putting it, but it's real. As previously stated, this is a primary intrinsic type of circumstance. Furthermore, this is not a one-off occurrence. It occurs across all Western societies, and there are no rates of replacement population increase. So, anything you want to argue, I'm like, that's amazing, buddy, that's fantastic. Sure, you're a total badass, but your civilization is fading, and a simple linear extrapolation can tell you how long. So, what do you prefer? We can do the same with our finances as you can with your health. If everything stays the same, you may project it outward. You'll be fine the way things are right now. So we want to make adjustments, but the males refuse to cooperate. On the bright side, some will use it to start their creative industries. You know and start their businesses, but the majority won't since, to put it gently, the system was critical to them. Let me discuss the school system since the same thing is going on there. Men are being evicted. In early childhood education, boys are being denied access. These young men are assessed based on their submission, compliance, and regulatory adherence. These are not characteristics that are often associated with guys. I regret putting it this way, but those are hardly characteristics of a strong male child. But, hey, what the hell? You appear to punish the fittest and most muscular lads for their behavior. You're wasting your best efforts and setting a poor example for others from a young age. It's terrible to encourage children to be afraid of feminine demands. The males in the region give in because they are anxious for the woman's favor. As a result, it's as if the entire society is being held hostage, and everyone must maneuver cautiously around the situation. While this is going on, women are taking over your educational system and demonizing young men. They don't teach math, but they do provide grades for things like sitting immobile for extended periods. Consider how well little Johnny follows instructions and completes tasks. There are a lot of you men out there that want to get married and establish a family. That is all there is to it. 
you now have a kid, and he is pretty adept at remaining still and carrying out instructions. It would help if you recognize that he is exceptional in that aspect. Do you see this as a positive development? Men, on the other hand, are less excited about it. Let's have a look at how the legal system operates. Do you require any further explanation? If you don't pay your rent, you could end up in jail. This appears to be the only country in the world where men can be imprisoned for failing to pay for a woman's entire life's expenditures if they do not marry and have children. Take that into account for a moment. I mean, I'm sure some of you feel the same way, and since you do, I'm going to presume you've decided to start a love relationship with a woman. Perhaps you are a parent. You've gotten yourself together and resolved to stand tall. Do you expect to be obliged to make any financial contributions toward the child's upbringing? That's fine, doesn't that sound right? I'm sorry, but I'll have to decline your child's request. If they decide that you must pay her $2,500 per month to care for both the child and herself, and you are aware that you are now facing financial difficulties and are unable to do so, they made the wrong judgment. For the time being, you can only afford to give her $1,500 every month. How do you feel about going to jail if you know you're going to jail? In all seriousness, you will be arrested. You understand what I'm saying. So, how are things going? Why would a man agree to that when so many others opt not to participate? Regardless of the circumstances, she has the legal right to divorce him and seek custody of his children. If he loses everything he's fought for and his reputation, he must either pay for her care for the rest of her life or go to prison. He must pay for her treatment for the rest of her life if he does not. He is uninterested in many things, demonstrating that males are helpless victims of their biology when succumbing to women and women's desire to exploit sexuality to assert dominance over men. Males are powerless victims of their own biology in their surrender to women and women's desire to utilize their sexuality to assert authority over men. They are utterly oblivious of what is happening. They want to be able to answer with anything, yes to you, honey, and yes to you, love, it stands to reason that they would want to communicate. You've also generously rewarded these spoilt princesses who believe they are better than everyone else. It would be best if you realized that our entire system is designed to take care of these people, not to increase output, improve efficiency, or build a future, but to satisfy the whims and requirements of a privileged class. That displays disrespect for the people who are behind them and smears and manipulates them. And I am convinced that my statement will not be interpreted as pushy or racist by you. Nonetheless, this is the way it works. Men on honorable men are forced to undergo this procedure, in which they are told that they do not fit into the category of good men. They conduct themselves appropriately. This is the current state of affairs in the media sector. That appears to be the limit of their actions. They are merely disseminating misleading information to others in the notion that if you disagree with our political beliefs, we will trash you if you do not support us. As a result, respectable guys are retreating from the situation, which encourages the worst behaviors in both men and women. If a man wants to develop in his job and meet women, and if he was raised in the system as a young man, he will do so in the manner stated above. This is the issue that men face, and it explains why they refuse to engage in any element of society. When someone says something like, hey, you're insane, I'm just going out there and performing exceptionally well in this system, the response is, wow, that's wonderful. You should be aware of this, and while I don't want to diminish your motivation, all you need to do is look around at the other men in their situation and keep everything in mind. I'm not sure if what's going on here is intentional or malicious, but it's human nature, and the exploitation of good masculine nature is also human nature. As I've stated in previous films, he seeks to ensure the safety of the ladies he plans to serve. He intends to be faithful and moral in his actions. You teach him that it is always good to aid the needy and to look after those in need and those unable to look after themselves. Then you accuse him of not doing that every time he doesn't do what you want him to or isn't your servant. You do this whenever he isn't servicing you. You should be aware that you can ignore a component of what a man is expected to do, and he will still comply. It's absurd, and the males aren't on equal footing. It has to do with how man reacts physiologically to the outer world. To put it another way, if he accepts to let the spoiled princess exploit him as a pawn and lie to him, he will be compelled to hold open the door. He needs to take a B instead since we're all on a curve now, and she's a moron for having him pay insurance when he's perfectly healthy and has never been to a doctor. 
he should also take a B because we're all on a downward spiral now. Isn't he obligated to pay taxes for those who aren't even citizens of his country? Isn't that correct? Will he be compelled to declare bankruptcy as a result of this? You take food off his table that he worked hard for and give it to someone who is not from his own country, who despises him, plays the victim, wants to have several children, and will teach them how to do the same thing well. If he refuses, you're telling him, hey, you're a lousy man who doesn't deserve to hang out with girls, and you're a loser. As a result, they are opting out of what may turn out to be a worse deal for the guys in the long term. If they don't do what you want, you could put him in jail, but aren't we already doing that? You could imprison him if they don't do what you ask. I believe you could start socializing with them at a young age. You may compel them into obedience by giving them medications while they are still children. You might use every area of your society to promote these anti-human beliefs, including the media, entertainment, religion, and government. In addition to being anti-male, they are anti-human, anti-productive, and anti-male. That is something we have already started. Because men are opting out due to this, MGTOW must be present to provide men with the knowledge mentioned earlier and the ideology that underpins it. In relation to men having their own ways, I made a video where I break down the top 10 reasons dating is declining and what you can do about it. So if you're single and looking for love, pay close attention because that information could change your life. So what are you waiting for? Check my latest video out.